In fresh developments with regards to the ESCOM inquiry, Deputy Minister of Public Enterprises Dikobe Ben Martins has refuted all allegations levelled against him. Martins rejected claims by suspended head of legal services of ESCOM, Suzanne Daniels, that he attended any meeting to discuss a former ESCOM CEO Brian Malefe's court application. Addressing a media briefing today, Martin says that he will be taking legal action. Media briefing yesterday, he said he will be taking legal action against Suzanne Daniels. Well, ESCOM head of legal and compliance, Susan Daniels, joins us on the phone line. A very good morning to you, Suzanne. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, how do you respond to Deputy Minister Ben Martin's denying your claims? Um, by virtue of my being a lawyer, I am an officer of the court. And in addition, I took an oath at Parliament ahead of providing my testimony. I this would not be... I would not have lied to Parliament and risk all the, the other consequences of that to my career and my person and also to the people of South Africa. I stand by my testimony. Now, just for the record for us, do you stand by your claims? I stand by my testimony. And can you just please elaborate on who exactly was present at this meeting? I can comment on what I said. Um, what I said in Parliament was protected, and I will not engage in the merits of the matter. <clears throat> All I'm prepared to say at this stage, I stand by my testimony. Well, if I just speak about what Mr. Uh, Martin said yesterday, he said that he, he's threatening to take legal action against you. Can you comment on that? Can you respond to that? He should do what he thinks is best in the interest of preserving his rights. Are you able to comment on whether or not you had reported this matter to anyone at ESCOM? Um, if you watch my testimony, you will find the answers to that. Well, thank you so much for joining us. That was uh, Ms. the ESCOM Head of Legal and Compliance, Suzanne Daniels, joining us on, on the phone line, saying that she is sticking by her guns. She will stick to her testimony on what she said um, at the parliamentary inquiry. She mentioned to us that she cannot comment because her testimony is protected, but she says that everything that she mentioned in her testimony, um, she will stick by it because she's an officer of the law and uh, what she said is truth and she would not lie to members of parliament. And she also mentioned, in addition to that, that Mr. Ben Martins should do whatever he needs to do. And we know that yesterday during his press uh, statement, actually his press briefing, he mentioned that he will be taking legal action against Ms. Suzanne Daniels.